Necromancy, one of the most controversial topic. She see ne what is a necromancy? There are two words here. Necros, necro, it means the dead. And mancy means divination. That's how one of the doctors on in Spain, they taught in Universitat de Spain. Uh, it's an ancestral worship. That it's a, their job is to listen, listen to the dead, not summoning. So, okay, the summoning type is, it's kind of a bit unethical. It's unethical to summon some stuff. It can be a totem. Uh, from here, if you see, the bird became spiritual because it became a spiritual totem to watch over not only to, the, to themselves, it's to watch over the lands. That's a spiritual totem, uh, which is why some necromancies do. On, why did Alexandra and the mother did a necromancy to, the, to that bird? It's, it's a totem for it to watch over the lands. Usually totem magic and an animal necromancy. Uh, okay, you ask me, did did do people do this in real life? Yes. A simple necromancy is a simple prayer. Um, a dead pet. Uh, we put an incense. That's a simple necromancy. Uh, our pet is our, sometimes they said our familiars. We'll talk about familiars in the later episodes. Uh, it's a totem, totem. So which is why we always carry the, the memories of our pets. Even animals, we carry memories of them. That makes us around the, kind of like they will protect us, guide us in our life, daily life. Those are animal totems. We will talk about animal totems if we dig more. Necromancy, we will also talk if I get some more knowledge about the necromancy itself. Next is the eye. Mm -hmm. Actually, this, this scene, I kind of bit si been similar to the Odin and Mimir story, I'll just share it to you now. Odin went to Mimir in the Yggdrasil. Odin said to Mimir, how can I be worthy of the title of the old father if my wisdom are flaws? Mimir respond, you do not have the right to drink my well. The price is very high, said Mimir. Odin asked, what, what price? Mimir respond, the price is your eye. I want you to toss it to the well. Thus, Odin pull, her, pull his eye out and toss it onto the well. Thus, there Mimir grant her, grant him, the drink of the water of the well, and from there he saw future some answers there. So I think this this idea also can it also narrates also have a similarity to the fol folklore of Mimir and Odin. That's how I see. It's just a reaction. Divination, yes, uh, if you see here, uh, putting on a towel, now here on the side is one of the Jessica Soho's report uh, on Wicca, on a Wicca, so usually they put it, uh, as we said, here, here on the part on the anime dress, uh, they use water and the eye, but here they use the candle itself candle and then the, how they do a divination. There are so many types of divination. 
think this is our this divination is used and is specialized in our culture itself. It's a Philippine culture divination. So it's uh, signatured by the Babylon. So it's totally different from the tarot, the tarot, oracles. So we have oracles in the Philippines, uh, oracle readings. Uh, scrying is differ from it. So scrying, mm, mirror scrying, I think is differ from how our Filipinos ancestors ancestors do uh, in those magics. Now, the quote is by, from Alexandria Stress's mother. You need to see beyond the outside. No, in psychology, it's, for me, I see it is kind of like saying, uh, need to see our unconscious. What our unconscious is doing, it could be hurting us. It's which is why it's called chaos. It could be hurting us, or it could be good for us. It's a it's a struggle because we cannot see. Sometimes we do something without our knowledge. We just we just do something like we enjoy stuff, but we don't know it's hurt. it's hurting us. So it's kind of like being a the term chaos magic. So the chaos magic, I will explain about the chaos magic, the chaos theory, the vortex soon. Uh, so this is just a crash course. If you see, uh, you need to see beyond the outside. It could be the turn of the third eye, gut feeling. Another thing is the gut feeling of itself. Uh, beyond the outside, there is a study is the in philosophy we can use it uh mary's room uh mary's room is another thing we can use here is a color blind mary but is it once he you'll just you just see it um, the mary's room uh, for further studies, we can use it in Mary's room. Now, the conclusion. We can conclude that some of the works on Tressa uh, series, series is used in real world. Uh, as you see, it's 